Hey there everyone, this is Ants Canada, your boy Mikey Bustos here, and it's a glorious July summer day, um, and yesterday it rained, and of course, as we all know, after a rainstorm, many ants have their nuptial flights, for whatever reason, and today, I managed to spot a lot of formica ants. It seems the formica ants are having their nuptial flight, their nuptial flights uh, around this time of the year. And I just wanted to create a video um, documenting how I collect them. So I'm just going to walk around, making sure to. keep my eye to the ground but also to look around because you don't want to be hit by a car or run into a pole which of course I have come close to I've got my trusty snap cap vials here from the store which of course we sell very convenient you don't got to worry about screwing on the top now they don't have holes but they're just meant for uh, temporary containment until you transfer them to a proper setup, whether it be an Ants Canada formicarium or a test tube setup. So, and they can last in here for several hours, actually. Invertebrate breathing is very different from our breathing. Oops. Every time I walk down this path here, it's by, by the road, I always find queens. Yes, yes, it's me. <laughs> Is that a queen? No. See, this is not a queen. That's a worker ant. It's like Formica. Formica worker ant. Got more Formica here. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the queens move a little bit differently as they crawl across the ground, then the workers. So this is a worker. They move slightly differently. And obviously they look different. Queens are larger, of course. Um, and there are other, you know, fine characteristics. But the more you see them, the more you get used to them. Now you see this queen here, running in a relatively straight line, unlike the workers. This here is a queen, so I'm going to catch her right now. Oh, come on, ah. It's a little tricky. What I'm gonna do is do that. She's gonna climb up, and then I'm gonna snap this down. There we go. Formica Queen, and I'm going to place her into my Adidas bag here, out of the sun so she doesn't overheat. Now I've got to find more, see, lots of workers, see, kind of just, they move like this, the workers, depending on the species of course. Here is a male. See that? How do I know this is a male? Because, oops, come here for my video. Ah, they're quick. Let's 
see. This is what a male formica looks like. See how the head is tiny? That's how you know that's a male. And the gaster is sort of a different shape. Often, I've noticed in a lot of species, the gaster is shaped almost like a bean. Or, or one end is kind of pointed. Anyway, I don't know if he's made it or not. But I'm going to let him go so he can go make babies. Go, go, go. And of course, after he mates, he's going to die. After fulfilling his purpose in life. Now, Formica ants themselves make great pets. Oh, there was another male. Wow, the males are all over here. Oh, just flew in my face. I ain't no queen. Don't be flying at me. Um, anyway, the uh, Formica ants themselves are great. Uh, Formica fusca in particular is an awesome species to keep. Um, the Formica fusca here like relatively good drainage um, in terms of soil preference. So their nest should have some dry areas and of course some moist areas. It's good to create a nice temperature gradient no matter what kind of ant you're keeping um, because you know they it allows them to kind of choose you know especially when it comes to designating what rooms in the nest are for what purpose. Um, for example garbage um, is generally kept in the drier chambers uh, so that they are less likely to grow mold. The ants are smart that way. Oop, there's one. Ooh, she's big. This is not, this is a Formica subsericea. This is not Fusca. Oh, no. Oh, I know you're here. Oh, come here. Yes, I caught her. Ah. No. There we go. There we go. This here is slightly larger species of Formica. It's uh, likely a Formica subsericea. Also great pets. She goes in my bag. This is the Humber River. Very nice. It gives uh, water to many, 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 many species that live by this uh, forest edge over here. Now, I live in the city, but the city of Toronto is pretty good at planting green space. So we have intermittent forest edge here. We have deer that live in here, a whole variety of fauna and lots of ants <laughs> which is great got another queen here hey. oh. this is why it's always good to have them on hand where'd she go Caught another one. So that's three formica now. Sticking them in my bag. Whoops. 
I left my other snap cap vial here. Ooh, almost stepped on this. See, this here is a large ant, but it is a Campanatus major, not a queen. It's got a small, small gaster. Oops, there it goes. Well, I was able to catch a few queens, um, and I'll be back probably later to this afternoon actually to uh, just look for more um, and uh, over the next few days because uh, Formica certainly are flying right now so be sure to uh, keep your eye open for uh, for those Formica queens. Till next time this is Ants Canada signing out. Thank you.